Gardeners will tell you that earthworms are good for the soil. They're decomposers, that is, they help break down dead plant matter and turn it into soil, where nutrients can be reabsorbed by plants. Earthworms are like tiny compost factories. They eat dead leaves and put out rich organic soil. Also, their burrowing mixes up the earth and aerates it. Have you ever tried to grab an earthworm from its burrow? It's not an easy task. If you hold an earthworm, you will notice that they have a slimy feel to them. This slime actually helps keep their burrow walls from collapsing. Earthworms have tiny bristles along their body for traction. They can use these to brace themselves, and in some cases, would rather be pulled in half than let go of their burrow. Some think that if you cut an earthworm in half, it'll grow into two new worms. This isn't true. However, they can regenerate their tail if they lose a piece of it. However, earthworms may not be as good as we think. They're another of New York's invasive species. Glaciers of the last ice age scraped off the topsoil from our area and all of the native earthworms with it. The earthworms you see here today, crawling around on rainy days, are descendants of European worms, probably carried over the Atlantic in potted plants brought by colonists. Today, they're distributed by anglers. Research shows these invasive earthworms are altering our native forests. They are accelerating decomposition beyond the natural rate and their mixing of the soil actually buries nutrients below the level most plants can reach. Hence, areas with earthworms have less understory vegetation and altered plant communities. Finally, why are there so many earthworms around here? Well, do you see this ring on their body? This secretes the cocoon worms lay their egg into. Any two worms can breed. They are hermaphroditic, which means they're both male and female. So next time you look at an earthworm, recognize both friend and foe.